Well, hey guys, I'm super excited to share with all of you guys some of the different changes that we have coming up as Life Stream Church. Over the last few months, we've been gathering information from our partners and our volunteers just to find out what is working, what isn't working, and I'm super, super excited to share those with you. And just to sum it up, all of the changes really have to deal with connecting and creating better relationships, healthy relationships, and that's important to call ultimately relationship is the leverage for discipleship. And relationship really is how the vision of giving everybody opportunities to follow Jesus and become a disciple, make a disciple happen. Because if we're going to give people a chance to follow Jesus, if we're going to make disciple makers, it really does require relationships. And so I'm going to share with you guys just a few of the crucial changes that we're going to be making as a church body as we move into the future. The first set of changes really have to do with connecting with each other within our church. And there's three different ones I'm going to talk about. The first is a new and improved, better family night. We introduced family night about a year ago as a way for our volunteers to connect with each other. But now, generally speaking, moving forward, family night is going to be completely off-site. And it's going to be in a very neutral place that is completely focused on one thing, and that's connecting with each other. For example, the next family night we have is this coming Sunday, August the 7th, and it's going to be a pool party at one of our partners' house. This is exciting when you have fun, you build relationships, but also when we get into neutral environments with people, it gives us an opportunity to invite people who would never show up to a church building to experience the life of the church. So that's one of the first changes I'm super excited about, a family night that is purely focused on relationships and connecting with each other, but also connecting people outside our church family to the life of our church family. The second change we'll be making in regards to connecting within our church is a better small group structure. We're introducing connect groups, which will be entirely focused on just bringing people together into a relationship to talk about life and to learn about how to follow Jesus closely together. Our first connect group is starting a short-term group. It'll be in August. It's called Build the Last. It'll be about marriage, finances, and parenting. Along with that, we'll have a guys group at 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursdays starting in August. And in September, we're starting two separate connect groups on Tuesday nights. Every other Tuesday night, one will be a guys group, one will be a ladies group. And we're super excited because this is going to create the type of atmosphere where relationships can develop, relationships can grow, and relationships really are the foundation for discipleship. If you're in a multiply group, multiply groups are not going away. They are currently closed as those groups are focused on training the people in those groups to make disciple makers. But eventually and strategically, we will open those back up specifically for those who are ready to take the step of making disciple makers. And we're excited about this structure because it really does provide opportunities that reflect the reality that everybody is in a different spot in their relationship with Jesus. Some people are ready to get into the hard work of making disciples and make disciples. Other people just simply need a friend to walk through life with them. So this new group structure we have with both connect groups and keeping our multiply groups is going to provide a great atmosphere for us to strengthen our connections and strengthen the family that we experienced within life. The third change that we're making within our church body that's talking about connecting with each other is we've improved our volunteer team culture. Our volunteer team culture is now so much more focused on relationships. For example, we've made our Sunday morning pre-gathering huddles relationally focused. We're getting groups in smaller groups within our teams and sometimes mixing it up and talking with people that we don't usually serve with. But we just take a few moments to talk about life, to talk about what's going on, to pray with each other, to bear each other's burdens. And that's tremendous because it provides these little threads of relationships that can start even in a 10 to 15 minute conversation on a Sunday morning. Our team leaders are focused on connecting with each volunteer outside of our gathering at least once a month just to find out how, how, how their volunteers are doing, how they can be praying for them. That's important. We'll also be starting a once a month on the first Sunday of the month. We're going to be gathering all of our teams together after our gathering ends for about five to ten minutes to recognize volunteers who have made a difference um, and also just to celebrate the wins that we've experienced as a church to, to remind us of what God is doing in and through our church family. And all of these are focused on connection. And that's maybe the biggest thing in our volunteer culture that we're going to be talking about. The win for us as we serve on Sundays is simply connecting with somebody, having a conversation with them, getting past the southern pleasantry of how are you doing, and find out how they're really doing because when that happens, that's when ministry starts to happen. That's when relationship starts to happen, and that's when we set ourselves up for genuine discipleship to take place.
that I want to talk about is our effort to connect LifeSpring to the broader Smithville community. And I'm super excited to announce our brand new partnership with the Smithville Police Department. This is going to open us doors to where we can meet tangible needs in our community as the police know a lot of different things going on. But it also is going to give us a genuine opportunity to be a part of building bridges between the police department and the Smithville community and we as Life Spring Church get to be a part of that. That's what it looks like to impact our community and that's what it looks like to be a difference maker like God has called us to be. Here's why this is all so important and why it's so exciting for us. Our church culture is getting very, very healthy. And that's exciting as our relationships get deeper, as our culture gets healthier, as we start to develop kind of a sticky tendency as a church where people stick together. That creates health and health ultimately fuels growth. And growth is important because healthy growth leads to healthy sending. Which leads me to something super exciting that, that is coming up in the very near future and it's church planting. Sean Payne was brought on last October as a church planning apprentice, and a church planning apprentice is someone who is preparing themselves, working on their character, working on their competency, because they're going to plant a church. Well, in the very near future, we're going to see Sean move from bring a, being an apprentice to being a resident, and residency means that within 12 to 18 months, we will be planting a church like we've always wanted to since day one. That's exciting, and so as we get healthy, Sean gets the plane out of something healthy, and that's super, super exciting for us as a church. Now, with Sean getting ready to move into transition mode, that's going to bring a huge transition for us as a church, as Sean has been serving as our interim encounter director. And we've always known that was a temporary solution. But with Sean moving out, it's time for us to be asking God who is going to fill that spot as our student ministry director in the very near future. The options for us as a church are really about three. We can fill that with a passionate volunteer, and maybe you're even watching this, and, and you'd say, man, I think God may want me to do that. What would be preferable for us is really to be able to hire somebody, whether part-time or ultimately in the long term we want to hire full-time. We need to bring on somebody who can put in significant hours and get significant focus beyond what's feasible for a volunteer to our student ministry because our student ministry has, in my opinion, the greatest potential not only to impact the next generation, but to impact the life of our church. Because I've experienced that, that a dynamic student ministry that, that is thriving and reaching teenagers, and teenagers are excited about following Jesus and excited about reaching their friends, can absolutely ignite a church. So I would like to invite you guys to be praying for God to bring the right person to fill that spot as we prepare for the future because we really do believe that that is the move that is going to tremendously move the needle for us as a church. So to sum it up, I am super excited about where God has brought us as a church. We're in a very healthy place as a church. Our finances are healthy. Our relationships are healthy. Our team cultures are getting so, so much more healthier. And I believe that puts us in a tremendous place for God to do some incredible things in and through our church as we head into the fall. And as I wrap up, I want to remind you guys of one thing that is coming up in September. On September 18th, our sixth year anniversary, we're going to have Welcome Home Sunday. We're going to have Two Sisters Ice Cream Truck here, and we're going to very clearly share the gospel. We're going to be in the second week of the series we're calling Fairy Tale Faith as we start to enter the deconstruction conversation and what Christianity really is and some of the different ideas that, that maybe people have thought about Christianity, whether that comes from the deconstructionist side or, or maybe the side that is really, really like hardcore, what I would call legalistic side. It's going to be, in my opinion, one of the most powerful series we have ever done as we get into the foundations of our faith and what really is true about Christianity. And so what I'm going to invite all of y'all to do on September 18th is invite, 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 invite. Every single one of us has somebody in our life that has a desperate need to connect with Jesus or maybe even just to reconnect with the life of the church. So on September 18th, invite people to welcome on Sunday and be praying that God will work in an incredible way that Sunday as we start off. I'm excited about the future God has for us as a church. And as we wrap up this video, I want to always remind us of why we exist. We exist to give everyone opportunities to follow Jesus and become a disciple making disciple. So let's do that as we go live for God, love all people, and lead others to do the same. I can't wait for the future. The future is right, and the best is yet to come.